Now, with so many of us working from home, online meetings have become part of our everyday lives. And one survey says well over 90% of workers are having up to four virtual meetings every day. But this new way of staying in touch via our computer screens is taking a bit of a toll with reports of so-called virtual fatigue as some workers struggle to stay interested in meetings. As a result, technology is being developed to introduce holograms and 3D viewing into our virtual meetings. Meetings. Kevin Ashford will tell us more. And Black Friday on Fridays. It's a scene repeated in homes across the country as work colleagues interact with each other and clients via laptops, mobiles, and tablets. This Hailsham construction company is involved in road and motorway projects across the south of England. Managers here say the use of virtual meetings has, in many ways, made life easier. To get all the company together had been quite hard physically because guys leave at five in the morning, six in the morning, eight in the morning. So what we used to do once every three months, get everyone here in the yard. It was quite a big ex expense, you know, it was half a day lost almost. So actually we found that quite cool, get all the operatives together on a video call from their vans, from their welfare units, from their sites. Yeah, they were all pretty comfortable with it. And we are doing a lot of virtual meetings. In one survey of 2,000 people, 96.3% of those questioned said they had up to four virtual meetings a day, with each lasting around an hour. 13.9% said they spend around six and a half hours a day in virtual meetings. However, not everyone seems to value them. 75.9% of those who responded said they thought online work meetings were a waste of time. I'm talking to my colleague David from inside the 32-inch looking glass display. Hi, David. This could be one way to make virtual meetings more interesting for those taking part, even though you might not fully appreciate it watching on television. This technology company has come up with a method of making participants in video calls look three-dimensional without the need to wear any special devices. For instance, in the cinemas, right, in order to see a movie in 3D, you need to wear the special glasses. But what lots of people don't know is that not everybody is able to, to, to support those glasses or the headset. Some people get nausea, etc. And especially now in a global pandemic, you don't want to be using special glasses or headset that a lot of people may have used. So this is perfect for a situation like uh, the COVID-19 and the world getting more used to uh, working uh, and collaborating online. Experts say virtual meetings, especially using the latest developments, are here to stay, but they'll never fully replace in-person interactions. Things like um, the hologram technology, you know, it's still very much in its infancy and it's um, still very exciting. I mean, it's a very, very exciting feeling, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're, I haven't been, I haven't taken part in it, but I've been the recipient or viewed things happening. It's trying to bridge that gap, but I fear it won't do it com uh, completely because we need to speak to people, see people, feel people, touch people, that sort of thing. There's now a global race amongst tech companies to make virtual meetings more engaging, as they're set to remain a big part of working life even after the pandemic is over. Kevin Ashford, ITV News.